now we need to authenticate our SPA. So let's uh, first read the SPA documentation here from the laravel.com. So SPA authentication. Sanctum also exists to provide a simple method of authentication single page application that need to communicate with the Laravel API. So we are building a Vue.js application and using the Laravel as a API. So this is the same case. And these SPA might exist in the same repository of your Laravel application or might be entirely separate repository. So it means that we are building a separate to Vue.js application and consuming the Laravel uh, APIs or we are using uh, Vue.js in the Laravel application and then consuming this. So it's the uh, same for both. For this feature, Sanctum doesn't use token any kind as we are using the token in our request CSRF token, right? In the Laravel build, we are using the CSRF token. It's very simple to add this just CSRF token and it's passed. But in the SPA, it's much more challenging, right? But I'll explain you with the simple steps so you will learn uh, this completely with the step by step guide because I will not to uh, miss anything in this uh, uh, overall tutorial so we will learn that if I am facing any errors we will also see in this. Okay instead Sanctum uses Laravel built in cookie based session authentication service. Uh, authentication provide benefits of CSRF protection session authentication as well as against leakage of authentication uh, credential to via uh, XSS attacks right. Okay, <clears throat> so our main concept is we need to now don't need to pass our CSRF token, we need to pass the Sanctum token. So how we will generate the Sanctum token and how we will pass this in our application. So for generating the Sanctum, we need to enable uh, Sanctum things like in the Sanctum, we need to go here and turn this on ensure middleware, right? So just go here in the um, Sanctum. I'm going to close this right now. And here if I go here in the config and app.pp file. So just go here in the provider list. No, not the provider list. We need to go to the HTTP kernel. HTTP kernel.php. And here you can see this, this one is uh, ensure front end request or stateful. So you need to turn this on, right, in the API. So save this one and let's follow this another one. Let's uh, turn this on. And now for the cores and uh, cookies, we need to enable these two things in our Laravel application. So just go to the bootstrap dot, uh, here it will also tell you that you need to go to this bootstrap dot yes, right. So go here in the JS, okay, bootstrap dot JS, right? So here we need to tell this that we need we are going to turn this on both, right? Uh, Xeos dot default dot with credentials true, and we are also allowing this XRF token. So then this will pass this token, and then we need to mention our domain like config uh, slash session dot php we need to define our domain so our uh, api would be uh, maybe on the different domain uh, but we need to uh, deploy them on the same domain otherwise they wouldn't work finally you ensure that your application domain configuration support any subdomain any route you may accomplish this by fixing with the leading you can approach this something like this so in the config slash session Okay, here in the config session dot php this one. So here you need to define your um, define the define what let me search this domain. Search this domain and this one is a domain. So I'm going to set this inside my env file. So session domain. So you just go to the env file and here just search this uh, session domain so this doesn't exist I'm going to create this variable session domain and later on we can add our domain here so at this time I'm using uh, my this domain let me verify it here I'm using this domain so I'm going to add like this so paste it here and remove this from here and I'm going to say that to 
uh, activity remove this by the way you can add your domain like google.com so we need to first add the dot so it will use to get that as a subdomain domain.com right so it's totally up to you but in this case it wouldn't work because it need to pass the HTTPS maybe browser will automatically pass this but on the server side let's say our website is cdlthel.com so I'm going to say that cdlthel.com something like this right okay and after that uh, you need to uh, enable the CSRF protection uh, to authenticate your SPA your SPA login page should first make a request to this uh, sanctum slash CSRF to key and point, uh, cookie endpoint to initialize CSRF protection for the application so this is most important thing you need to uh, do this otherwise your application will not uh, uh, use, uh, not uh, create this uh, CSRF token right so uh, where it will create the CSRF token so just go here in the application so here in the application whenever you are visiting your application so here you need this XRF token right so we need this token for this one uh, oh my god uh, in the yeah fine in the cookie we are using this and later on I'll uh, we need to add this uh, our token here and then more things so let's go back here and we need to first initiate this uh, in our browser right so we need, whenever we will made our request so we will see in that here and let's say if I give it a refresh and uh, login something click on this so there is no uh, CSRF cookie initialized here right and if I go to the network tab still there is no cookie here so whenever I will initiate this request on this now by using this one so then this will initiate this CSRF cookie so just save this one close this one close this one and close this one and this one too and just go to the login dot view and here before this uh, uh, login I want to make this request to Xeos and then I'm going to say that uh, clear messages another message so I think ah, let me see it login ah we I'm doing this so in the wrong place so let me now before initiating this request I want to say that first made the request on this end right and after that wrap this inside and after that I'm going to close this out something like this so save this one and let's go here and I'm going to now submit request again submit and yes now it's initialized this CSRF cookie right header is sent and then login right so in this way we need to initialize our cookie so that's perfect before this you've seen that there is no CSRF cookie and we initialize this CSRF cookie perfect after that uh, login CSRF initialize a post and everything is um, then we need to apply the middleware something like this or sanctum and if we go to the api.php file so it's already applied on the user stuff so here right so later on I'll build the dashboard page where I will implement this and I'll most probably do this using the group route to protect all the routes and we are not broadcasting this here it's uh, told that how you need to do this for the broadcasting and so on things but this is the main thing that we did this and uh, everything is uh, fine for now and later on when I will submit the request we need to handle our token right we need to set this into the local storage and then we need to manage our state so stay tuned for the next video because uh, the next video is going also uh, very much uh, uh, regarding the technical stuff so you need to understand it uh, properly otherwise these things wouldn't work so thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye